All right. Hey, hey. Hey. Welcome to the Brian and Kristen podcast. I'm Brian. And I'm Kristen. And uh, how, how uh, Kristen, I- I'm dressed a little more warm than you right now. Uh, so you're back in Florida. I mean, I got my long sleeves on because it's probably 70. 70. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that would be nice to be able to uh, have some long sleeves on in 70 degree weather. Uh <laughs> If I was if I were there, I would definitely be in uh, some short sleeves. But uh, um, yeah, so I'm here at uh, Edison Community College right now. Uh, that's where I am. So we got a different backdrop, and uh, we're trying because the internet uh, last week was so slow. I say, well, you know what? I got to get some of this uh, college internet so we don't cut each other off. <laughs> Get some use out of your tuition money. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, okay. Oh, yeah. If, just in case anybody's new watching, uh, Kristen and I are brother and sister, right? Or your <laughs> sister and I'm brother. <laughs> yeah. Tell the story about who somebody thought we I was. Yeah. Somebody thought uh, on one of the other episodes that Kristen was uh, my ex-girlfriend. I said, uh, gross. And, uh, <laughs> and why would somebody do that to themselves? So... <laughs> So uh, uh, that's what we're doing. And um, also, if you guys can, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm trying, I'm learning the, the the technology here on our podcast. If anybody wants to comment or post anything, I'd be interested to see if it comes up on our live stream so we can comment back and forth to you as well um, as we're doing that. But uh, but Kristen, I got to come to you for some some advice because you have gotten your law degree and were always were you a straight a student or uh, i got a couple of b's you got a couple b's in high school what what did, what were your couple b's in oh god i don't even remember but if, if i had to guess it would have been like math and science because i just don't like either of those okay because math was the one that was the most hard for me was algebra i really struggled in algebra and uh um but so you did get a couple B's in high school or? Yeah, I think I graduated with, it's funny, I can even remember this, like a 3.98. <laughs> oh, just barely. And uh, I'm sure. Sorry I'm my sure, life. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure that mom was uh, all over you about that point two that you didn't get straight 4.0, right? <laughs> yeah, I could have done a little better. Yeah, because our mom was class valedictorian and um uh, if you haven't met her, she will tell you that when she meets you. Uh, <laughs> and grandma was too. Right? Grandma was valid. That makes sense. Grandma was valid. Grandma was really smart. And so, so is mom. And then Uncle Bob, I think he was valid Victorian as well, right? I think so. And I think probably Rob was valid Victorian, our other cousin. Probably Mike was. Uh, I don't think Scott was. but And I definitely wasn't valid. I went, my, I mean, it's really a sad situation because mom went from being class valedictorian Victorian to having me who was class clown. So <laughs> that was a huge, uh, huge drop. And, uh, but, uh, and you always got good grades. And in college, did you get pretty close to straight A's there too? Yep. I don't remember what I graduated with there. Maybe like a three, five or something. Okay, so it's it dropped a little bit. Yeah, and then law school was a different story, but I just didn't really, I don't know, I didn't study as much as everybody else. Okay, and that's uh, when I like that's when I got to meet Matchbox Twenty and go on tour with Matchbox Twenty. So while everybody else was being like a bookworm in law school, I was trying to study on the back of a tour bus. But hey, I did well enough. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. And then you got to meet them again recently, right? Yeah. After yeah. all these all these years later so you were you were traveling with matchbox 20 and doing your law school homework all at the same time yeah exactly and and then you then you passed your bar exam first try or second try oh my gosh so i passed the national portion the first time and i missed the florida portion because i wasn't sure i was going to stay in florida so i never took any florida specific classes and didn't really study hard i missed the florida portion by one point wow so I'd wait six months to take it again. Talk about 3.98 and missing it by one point. Yeah. 
And you are miss, mm-hmm. uh, one point away from Miss Ohio, too, right? Oh, well, yeah. First runner up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to break the streak. That like, yeah. <laughs> is brutal. <laughs> Yeah, well, we gotta get this. We gotta get this podcast up to number one. That's where we gotta go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So you've always been now. Now I'm asking because okay, for the backstory here, when I was 19, I think I left Edison, the college that we're at right now, to go to California. And uh, looking back, I still think it was a good move. But in 2020 when everything got shut down, I started taking online classes here at Edison to get this degree. And uh, I'm really wondering, I mean, I only got five more classes left, three this time and two next time. And, uh, you know, I've been kind of frustrated because um, I think there's a lot of propaganda in the textbooks, you know, now, right now I'm in a business classes. So the three classes I'm in right now, not so much uh, propaganda, as some of the others, like the psychology class was driving me totally crazy. But, um, but what are your, st- how, how did, how did you get good grades? What were your study? How, how did you study for stuff? Um, I hate to say, but I didn't really study a whole lot. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I went to class and that was the key. I went to, I never missed a class for the most part, like, unless there was something like serious, like sick or something. Um, but I never missed a class and I actually paid attention and, and took notes. The, the way I learn is by listening to somebody I can remember pretty well. So then I would just review my notes, but I, but I wasn't really a very good note taker. I'm still not. If I start taking notes, I forget to listen to what they're actually saying. I get too caught up in writing. So I just really try to pay attention to what the professor was saying. So you would just listen and get, get it that way. Yeah, and there might be some things, and I would I would read the book too. So between reading and listening, that's how I would get most of it. I didn't really study like my notes and stuff. Okay, you see these I just online did my classes. Homework. I was a nerd. What's that? I'm just a homework. I was a nerd and just did my homework like I was supposed to. Yeah, I should have done that, man. I, is that? <laughs> I was doing everything but my homework, and. Uh, because uh, you see these online classes are actually kind of hard because um, you don't have a teacher that's telling you. So you're literally it's all through the book, basically. Yeah, I wouldn't like online learning like that. I'm not good I you know, to read and learn the classes like that. It's much harder for me. I prefer like actually having to go someplace and listen to somebody and, you know, comprehend it. And I would imagine too, that a lot of people that are doing this online stuff are like multitasking and doing a million different things while they're trying to study versus when you're in the class, you're in the class, you know, you can't, I mean, so I don't know. I think it would actually be harder to do the online stuff. Yeah. You know, that is true. I'm multitasking. I'm putting up a uh, uh, vicious <laughs> Facebook memes while. Uh... <laughs> and you wonder why you're struggling. I mean, I would start there. <laughs> <laughs> I got, and I got I got Facebook debates going on at the same time. <laughs> and you're riled up trying to pay attention to your online class. Yeah, I don't think that that's probably the most efficient way. But <laughs> who am I to say? Yeah. So, so I'm I'm uh I'm I'm five classes away from getting a two year degree that's taken me 25 years. So. <laughs> Talk about uh, perseverance, perseverance and determination. <laughs> yeah. And, you, you know, it's funny because uh, now, granted, if there weren't online classes, though, I wouldn't be going because mm-hmm. I'm not home enough to go to classes, even if they have, you know, if I were in a regular. Right. Uh, you know, because yeah. I've been gone. I mean, most of the time I'm in another city trying to figure out how to, you know, I was gone in New York a couple of weeks, then next week or two, I go to Texas. And so for, for that, I guess the online classes are easy or are, are not easier. They're hard, but you know, they're, they're more, it's, it's, you can do it. Right. Yeah. Accessible kind of otherwise. Accessible. Yeah. Unless they had like some crazy hybrid model where you could come and go if you were in town, but of course they wouldn't have such a thing like that. Nobody yeah. ever. <laughs> I did find out that one of the classes, the accounting class, lets you come in if you are online because they have a regular class so you can drop in. And that was helpful because I went to one of those. So um, but, yeah, it's just been uh, it's been kind of uh, 
difficult. But then, you know, what what do you think about since you had to go to school before uh, you were in school before Google, right? Before you could just look up answers. Oh, yeah, totally. You know, I took college classes at Edison when I was in the seventh and eighth grade. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Kind of. Yeah. You remember mom had to go to like they were afraid that, you know, in the off chance that I was unruly. So I, oh, I really? took biology when I was in the seventh grade, how different, or eighth grade, I don't remember, but how different do you think it was when I learned about psychology in the seventh grade versus when you uh, just did it? I think it was probably more accurate when you yeah. took it back then. I, I think so too. Like, I actually feel like I learned something. Like, I remember thinking that that was actually a pretty interesting class. I think that's one reason why I got more interested in like helping people and working with people was like better understanding them at a young age. That makes sense. Uh, cause I tell you that the class, and I think I told you, I was pretty fired up my whole psychology class, you know, and I'm just reading, there is no instructor. So I got to write letters. I mean, every chapter I was writing things, this ain't right. This, you know, like the one thing I thought was just ridiculous is they made sure to point out that Sigmund Freud was for Sigmund Freud was white. A, yeah, we can tell. And B it's like, well, either you're, you're telling us about what he was teaching or what his opinions were. Or you're, what does that have to do with, with what, it? You know, yeah. it was just kind of ridiculous, you know. And even that first business class, it was just general business. And the first chapter, I mean, literally the first paragraph, they start talking about global warming. And and I was like, okay, this is business. What's this have to do? If anything, you should tell the kids, hey, you know what? You this book cost paper paper come from trees here's how to plant a tree and teach the kids how to plant a tree but what no they're teaching them this fear thing right and uh so it's it's constant you know fear just mongering they had stuff in there about uh george floyd already colin kaepernick all this kind of type of stuff that really was just more or less propaganda in, in my view so uh there we go again sorry mom you tried to <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty good. We get 12 minutes in. No <laughs> conversation until 12 minutes in. I almost made it the whole, the whole podcast with, with that going on, on a rant. So so I guess basically what we were getting at this week from, from my question is, what do you think, what's the strategy here for me to get through this? And then what do I do once I'm through this? Okay. Well, first of all, if you're this close, I feel like you have to finish it, right? Like yeah. you made it this yeah. far. Yeah. Um, but as far as the doing well, I would say number one, remove the multitasking, especially the Facebook rants. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I almost feel like if I just said start there and let's see if you improve, then then I could give you the next tip. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, but, uh, I guess that's um, and I do think that that online stuff is probably much harder. Um, I mean, at least for the way I study, you know, when you can't really pay attention. But I, um, yeah, I don't know if you read and do the homework and then do the online class. That's, I don't know really what else to tell you because I haven't had too much experience doing online uh, college. Yeah, I feel like you, I feel like you definitely learn less with the online stuff because you're literally just scanning for answers. And then as soon as you get those answers, it's done. Nobody, like, said, a lot of times you don't even realize how you got to the answer. You know, you're just kind of scanning for answers, not knowledge. Right. But, you know, for some reason, I wanted to finish up on this thing I started 25 years ago. So <laughs> here we are in the fourth quarter and, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> at, least you're doing it. Said, at least you're doing it. Yeah. Now, am I, but is it a waste of time? Because should I be worried about focused on my other stuff in my life instead? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know that I've ever really had anybody be like, hey, could you prove to me you have a bachelor's degree? Now, how's it helped me probably get some jobs? Yes. But is anybody going to ask for your associate's degree in anything that you do? Probably not. No, especially in what I do. <laughs> Here's a comedian with an associate's degree. Does that make you a better comedian? Not. Only if I can write some jokes on it. Yeah, exactly. That's probably the best use of it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So that's what we're going to work on. So, um, all right, Kristen. Well, um, 
I guess this week was more me asking you questions uh, for advice, but uh, that's usually how the dynamic of our brother sister uh, uh, sibling relationship has always been, right? I mean, you know, I've been thinking about this because it does seem like that. But however, when it comes to like acting and uh, anything entertainment related, as far as setting something up, how to do things, you do have answers for that. So those are things I've learned. That's true. I, I helped you with a couple really great auditions. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I kind yeah. of directed you in a couple that I thought you were really, really fit for. So, and then you got that big one. Not that I was a part of that one, but the big one for T-Mobile. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, um, uh, uh. So we, I think we, we did great. We got a lot of uh, people. Looks like we got some people watching. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm trying to learn. I don't see. I'm, I'm just trying to learn here on the on the site how you can see people's coming up on your thing so you can say hi to them. It worked on one of them, but I don't know. So, but um, we'll be back next week. We're already at 20 episodes. Can wow. you believe that? No. That, that's pretty good. 20 episodes. So. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, everybody, thanks for uh, watching, tuning in. If you got any questions for us in the future, that would be awesome. And uh, got anything else, Kristen? No, that's it. All right. Well, we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye. Bye.